Hello everyone, Triple S here, and welcome to this game called Mountain. I don't really have much clue of what this game is about, but it sounded cool, so I bought it. And now we're going to play it. It says happiness, and then draw something. What shall I draw? I don't know. Uh. Uh. I'm using a mouse and I don't care about anything that's... There you go. I drew a shitty looking dog. My purpose... Eh, eh. Eh. Sadness... Jesus Christ, I can't draw with the mouse. Patience! Well, it does something. Oh! I am now being generated. I am green. Welcome to Mountain. You are Mountain. You are God. I have trees. It's kind of loud. Hang on. Okay, we should be back. Saving. Okay, sorry. I just turned it down. I think I should have paused then. Oh, it's there. Damn it. I could have just paused it like that. Whatever. Okay. Thoughts, dawn, ambient, blah, 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 controls, nothing, okay. Whoa! Okay, we can twist around the mountain. We can zoom in and out. Put some rocks there. Damn, it's cloudy. So... I think it's just a game where you just let it do stuff. You can zoom really far out and see if we're just a mountain in the middle of nothing. It's raining. So yeah, I guess we just leave it to do stuff, see what happens. It's raining at the moment. I guess as well that I should also mention that I haven't been putting out a lot of videos lately, and I'm sorry for that if anybody's watching even. I know my videos are actually popular, and I'm not exactly popular. I know a lot of my videos only get like zero views, and the most they get in like one day is up to like five views, and even then people don't watch all the videos, but whatever. It's still fun to do this as a hobby. Yeah, I haven't been putting up, out a lot of videos because of university and emotional health, but here we are with a mountain, which I thought would be a cool game to come back with properly. I will say come back with. I'm still at uni, still got a lot of work to do. Still not going to be putting out videos on a regular basis. Though I have a crap kind of binding of Isaac Rebirth. I'm playing that game a lot. Nearly a hundred hours, and it's only been out for like two months. Okay, so we're just a mountain. We can even go like this. It's a pretty rocky area here. And we got a do we do got a lot of trees on the other side. Some stuff there that's just weird. Now we got some ore deposits. Oh, I see myself inside this beautiful day. I just had another thought. I think those are like thoughts that he has. The mountain, or we have, I guess. What's that? Something. I don't know if people can see. It might be just a yellow flower or something, but it's supposed to be like right there. It's weird. Sun going down now or something? How can the sun go down? It's not exactly can be blocked off by space.
Although it can go down underneath and it just be dark on top of the mountain, but you get what I mean. Oh look, there you go, there's space there. We got some crumbly bits, but then we got some ore deposits like gold. Maybe that's iron right there. Still raining a bunch. Still a rainy day. But we are getting to night time now. Sun is going down. Don't know exactly long I'll record this for. It's, I don't really see this as being like a big series. I don't think you can save. Go night time now. Pretty pitch black. Ooh, look at space. That's cool looking. That's what we would be able to see if there was no light pollution. If there was no light pollution, you could look up in the sky and see that. And that'd be, um, it'd be amazing. Ouch, my neck. I slept funny on it and it hurts. Just thought you might want to know that. Also, this video is going to look weird because the size of the game window is not widescreen. It's. I lost myself inside such a vast night. The sprinkly bits. The sprinkly bits. What are the sprinkly bits? The sprinkly bits on my mountain. But only there though. Because the moon. Oh no, there's some over here. It's just moonlight. But yeah, the game window screen, the length is greater than the width, or the height, you know what I mean. So it's going to be a, a bit of a squashed mountain when it comes out in 1280 by 720. We are a very pretty mountain. Still dark over here because the moon's on the other side. Oh, I say moons on the other side, I can't even see a moon. Oh, look at that galaxy space stuff, suns and stars. And beautiful. Simply beautiful. I guess I could go for like an hour on this. It's going to be a big issue video though, in terms of games. Oh, I am digging this enigmatic knight. He's digging it. We're digging it. So we keep having thoughts. At some point, some orange and stuff will happen. I'm pretty sure like a meteor at some point smashes into us or something. Maybe like animals, people pop up, I don't know. Something like that maybe. But for now we can just watch as our mountain rotates. In the vastness of space floating. We are a sparkly mountain, aren't we? Like Twilight vampires, we're sparkly. Is that just night run its course, I guess? Oh. I'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Ugh. Huh, burping. I'm half yawning at the same time. It's weird. Oh damn. Sorry. 
I am watching the game, and I am playing, and I am talking, but I just got an email, and I thought I'd just quickly check it. And it's a Domino's email saying, Chew for Tuesday, which I did not know was an actual deal. It's buy one, get one free. Every Tuesday, collection or delivery. But there is terms and conditions. Only valid with medium or large pizzas. I'm fine with that. Free pizza must not exceed the value of the first. Valid from 9 to 24, 12 midnight, or Tuesdays only. Not valid with any other offer. Damn. When it was a. Well, it's a Tuesday, it's why I got the email, but if only I had someone they wanted to share a pizza with me, I can't eat two full pizzas to myself. Plus, it's medium to large. I get a medium, and a medium fills me up. Quite like getting, what is it called? Meatalicious or something like that, or meteor, meteor, something like that. With meatballs on it, and ham and stuff, and then I have that with, oh, what's that? Is it ranch sauce or something like that? Garlic and herb, I don't know, it's a really nice sauce. Anyway, we're playing a game here about a mountain. It's a slow game, it's a slow game. This I'm, I'm just having thought right now that this could maybe become one of my uh, another in future it could become another two times speed uh, music playing game saving oh it does save there we go it saves I could totally come back to this and play it another time oh oh what the hell is that is that a chair is this way did a chair smash into our mountain I completely missed that holy crap there's a chair there a giant chair slammed into our mountain. Is there anything else? Holy fuck, where did a giant chair smash into our mountain? <laughs> I wonder if we can go back and look at when that happened. I mean, not me now, I mean you, but... Totally did not see it smash into our mountain. A giant fucking chair. It just came out of nowhere. Well, we can see where it happened. It wasn't like on the other side of the mountain when it happened, but oh my god, a giant chair smashed into our mountain. <laughs> oh, we got some music. It's a new day. Where's that chair? I want to keep an eye on that chair. I want to see if it does anything. Okay, I was, I was expecting more of like a meteorite or something. I wasn't expecting a giant chair. People are probably going to, if they're watching, say, that's not a chair, look, it's just a big thing of wood. It totally looks like a chair to me. I should consider going downstairs and asking if anybody would want a pizza. The food today, but my dad does not like cheese, so he wouldn't want any. What's that? There's just some rocks. Cloudy as hell. I didn't hear any sound to indicate the chair had smashed into the thing, or maybe it happened when I was talking and I just completely blocked it out, but oh my god, there's a giant chair in our mountain. What's that? That's just a, there's a few lone green trees in the midst of the brown ones. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I just had a quote from the movie Juno in my head then. It all started with a chair. I could totally call. Oh, I'm totally calling, calling this video that. It started with a chair. Oh, Helen Page and... Whatever the other guy's name is. is oh, it's completely escaping me. God damn it. You ever have that where you... You know something, but it just won't come to the front of your brain. It's something. Although I do actually get his name confused with other people. Something Sarah? Hang on. I've been on that chair. There's. This is the guy. 
Yeah, Michael Sarah. That's totally his name. I thought it was. Just, it wouldn't come to my head. I, I had Sarah, but then I couldn't remember the Michael. And then I was also thinking of another guy who's I get him confused with a lot. What happened there? The mountain shook. <gasps> oh, somebody else crashed into it. What the hell is that? I can't be the only one seeing this. New day. Another fucking object just smashed into a... That's a bottle. That is a bottle of booze smashed into our mountain. I'm so confused about why giant objects are smashing into our mountain. What the fuck? Is there an angry giant out there just throwing things out of his at planet's atmosphere? And it's hitting into us? What the hell's happening? Okay, so now we have a chair and a bottle lodged in our mountain. Also, it seems to me like, are these trees multiplying? Like, is there more of them than before? I'm not sure. Those, those aren't even trees, those are giant mushrooms. It looks to me. What are the options again? Can I save? Well, you can totally save. Have to wait for like an auto save. Wow. You just give me a second here. Alright, so I am back after just doing a lot of stuff about pizzas. So we are going to be getting two large half and half pizzas. Yummy. It's winter now. It's snowing. Still got the giant chair and the giant bottle. So I'm not sure if it, did it pause or did this just suddenly happen? Does that pause it? You just pause it. Oh, I don't know. It just suddenly became winter, I didn't realise it. Anything stuck on the bottom? Nope. Anything stuck on the top? We can't even see the top, it's so cloudy. So yeah, I could just totally have this just running and have it recording. For like an hour, or half an hour, or 15 minutes, I don't know which. And just see what happens, really. So I could just leave this running, recording, and then I could be like reading a book, listening to some like American Dad or Futurama. My friend finds that weird that, that I got the audio of episodes of TV shows and put them on my iPod. Because the thing with my iPod is a what the hell is this? It's not an iPod. It's not an iPod Nano. No, it's like an iPod Slim or something like that. And like, if you were to have a video open on it, you can't like dim the screen and have the video keep playing. Did I see something happen then. It lags a bunch when you go into the clouds with all the particles. Wow. I feel inspired by this new day. Oh, well there goes the snow. I still just got the chair in the giant bottle. So yeah, you can't dim the screen, scream, screen on this iPod and have the video keep playing, which I wanted to do because I was wanting to like, I've got Caroline, Ca Ca Caroline, Coraline, sorry. If she'd heard me say that, she would have hit me if she was real. But yeah, I have Coraline on here, which is one of my all time favourite movies even though it's creepy shit and not a kids film and I was wanting to listen to the audio when I was going to like university and then coming home but the video would just stay open so I'd have to be careful not to catch the screen with it in my pocket so instead I just got the audio of it so then I just listened to the audio and then I thought well I'm gonna do that with other stuff as well so I have like shit tons of episodes of American Dad and Futurama which I've listened to a lot. I haven't listened to all the episodes of American Dad yet, and I still have more to 
get off the internet and to my iPod. Shh, it's, shh, don't tell anybody. I also have The Simpsons as well, which I haven't listened to any of yet. And then I also have Family Guy, which I haven't listened to much of yet. And just for the hell of it, I also have Kids Next Door, which was one of my all-time favourite kids shows when I was a kid. Kids, 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 kids along with Eddie and Eddie. So I, I thought I'd get a load of them as well. I haven't listened to them yet, but I want to. Really, my childhood. So I'm pretty sure I could make this into a two times speed series. Maybe even more. I mean, well, I'll say more. Maybe even faster than that. Since I've got. Oh, it's snowing again. Since I have two times speed binding of Isaac. And then two series of that going in now, the normal difficulty and then the hard difficulty. Uh, the hard difficulty one's going to finish soon, because I have played 100 hours of that game, and all I ever do really now is just play Zazel and just OP runs and win. Which is why, when hard's done, at some point there'll be another series starting up called the Azazel Chronicles, maybe, or something like that. Which is just all OP Azazel runs. Even then, when that's finished, and the normal difficulty ones are finished, it's probably going to end up ending the series. Because I have played so much of that game that it's just worn me out. Like, I've beaten Mega Satan like six times. Somehow, I am better at Rebirth than I am at the original game, which is incredibly strange. Oh, is this it? This what? What's happened? What is happening with my mountain? It all looks weird. Oh, it looks like it was on fire there. Just dark clouds. There's the bottle, there's the chair. Now it's dark. The snow's going, but now there's a lot of rain. Right, there's the bottle. There's the chair. Yeah, I don't think anything else has crashed into it yet. Not from what I can see, though it is quite dark. I'm just gonna keep going. Yeah, as I was saying, I don't know if it's really that weird that I just listen to the audio of episodes of stuff. Like I've seen most. I've seen. Ugh, I can't even really say that. I have watched a lot of the episodes of Future Out, but there's some which I just haven't really watched. Like, I've just put on Netflix, let it keep going on, then I'm doing other stuff like talking to people, or playing a game like Rebirth, or writing something, or doing uni work. So, I've had the video playing, but I've only listened to the audio, which is what I usually do anyway. I just listen to stuff, I don't really watch stuff, which is kind of difficult when I want to watch anime. Because I'm a big fan of anime, but you just takes me out of my norm of just listening to stuff rather than watching stuff. Although quite a lot of anime is visual gags and it does have a lot of visual appeal so yeah. But I don't really know if it's that weird to be honest. I'm just walking down the street minding my business and there's Stan and American Dad complaining about uh, the two gay guys having a kid. They just, yeah, it's, you know, I'm just listening to stuff. Nothing wrong with that. It's like listening to music. I don't watch the music videos. I listen to the music. So I have. Oh, I'm thinking about this dark state. Don't start going negative on me, mountain. Please don't. So I. I think I might do a half an hour episode of this. This is pretty much it's all just watching a mountain and then me talking about random crap. Like it just popped up that a Domino's thing showing up and no, oh, I'm buying two large pizzas and then uh, talking about my iPod and stuff and how my neck hurts and everything. Not really exactly talking much about the game because not a lot's happened apart from the giant fucking chair. And then the giant goddamn booze bottle. Hopefully the audio is okay as well. My microphone should be fine. 
Though I would really like to get a proper recording microphone. The one I've got at the minute is a is USB, but it's just like on a tripod stand, and it's like a really crappy, cheap microphone. I think it only cost me like I can't fucking talk. It's a cost cost me like fifteen quid. But there is one that I'm looking at, but and it's all professional, and uh, I've seen uh, streamers like on Twitch streamers and then YouTube people as well, but mainly Twitch streamers have it in their list of hardware that they've got and they've got like this uh, microphone, can't remember the name of it and I want to buy it, but it's like 120 quid and granted yes, I will be getting a maintenance grant on the 12th of January though a lot of that is going to be going to my parents who are having to pay for my dental bills because I don't have free dental, because I never fill out the forms, which I didn't even know I could do. Then also paying off for the laptop, which I'm using right now to uh, record this video. So a lot of that's going to them, and then I could still afford the microphone, but then again, I'm not really getting any monetary gain from doing YouTube stuff. There's like one YouTuber who's called Utara. He, I think it was him. Was it him? I attribute most wise sayings to him when it comes from YouTubers and Twitch streamers mainly as well. But it, it was either him or another streamer. Okay, I'm back. I'm not exactly. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, I was talking about things. I just got called away by parents stuff. So yeah, um, I was talking about. Oh yeah, saying that I think was Utorak, but it might be another Twitch streamer. Oh, I wish I knew how to whistle. I know how to whistle. But yeah, it was either him or somebody said that don't sink a shit ton of money into this if you're not making anything back from it. Which is a good thing for anything, like, if you're not going to get any gain of any form back that don't sink money into it and like the only gain I'm getting from doing this is it's a hobby it's a thing for me to put my time into when I'm bored because I've got nothing else to do and yeah I'm not sure if that's sounding bad to say I like it I do like the whole thing of entertaining people but this is mainly for my benefit of not being of having something to do when I'm bored and then entertaining people is a plus to that. And then as well as that, making money would also be a plus to that. It's only at the point where it becomes a job that money is... Someone's messaging me on Facebook. Money is an expected thing from it. There's a job as long as I put the work into it. And then, as I said again, entertaining people. It's not so much a plus, but it's a goal. Then entertaining the people's goals so that they keep coming back so that I can keep making money for doing my job. That's the only point where it changes when it becomes an actual job. Is things that goals, th uh, things that were pluses become goals. So my goal for doing this isn't not to entertain people. It's it's it, I have no goals for doing this video. It's just pluses. Like, it stops me from being bored and. Entertaining people, that's a plus. But then, when it becomes a job, then, yeah. The whole making people happy and entertained, that's my goal so that I can fulfill my other goal of making money. I hope that makes sense. I tried to, I, I basically just said the same thing like three times in a row. Oops, dropping something over. But I hope it makes sense. Has anything happened on the mountain? We saw the giant bottle, we have the giant chair. Nothing else has crashed into our mountain yet. And someone still messaged me on, me, me on Facebook. So we're nearly at the half hour mark. And then I th think I'll end the video off there with me talking. And then... <clears throat> pardon me. Every so often, I'll boot the game back up again, record for like half an hour. And then I'll edit the video, not edit the video, well yeah I will edit the video, but I was, what I was going to say. I'll edit the video so that it's down to like 15 minutes 
maybe I want to just do 15 minute segments, cut them down to like 7 minutes, it's a more manageable thing. Not sure. Maybe, I don't know. But every so often I'll do that. And then we'll have a series that goes on. Ooh, I am made invincible by this summer morning. And we'll have a new series, two times speed series, of a mountain that's spinning in the air with things crashing into it. So there we are at the half hour mark. I am going to save. Save. Yep, we're saved. So yeah, if anyone's watching this, do tell me if you want me to carry on actually this mountain or do you want me to start a new one from scratch? Because if I do that, I'll have to go through the whole drawing stuff and I don't know. But there we go. Thank you for watching me. This video of the mountain. Me talking about a lot of random shit with some uh, interruptions here and there. But it's expected when you're with at home with parents you need to go and talk to or about stuff that happens. And also some stuff on your Facebook. So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, reminder, Twitter, Tumblr and YouTube channel extension links are in the description. They're not in the outro. I don't have time to put in all the annotations to, which I would usually do which was kind of a bad decision on my part to put it like that for the outro because it does take up a lot of time to go through and put in the annotations in the right place and make sure they're all lined up with when it appears and such although I do put a lot too, too much like perfection in doing that, I don't know but anyway yeah, thank you for watching uh, the stuff's in the description and I shall see you all next time for whatever series you watch next and for whatever other mountain videos you watch next, which will be faster. I've got a lot of two times speed series. My whole channel's becoming two times speed series with not that many series of me just talking, playing an actual game. Yeah, I don't know if that's good or not, but anyway, thank you for watching. My name's Mr. Triple S, so you remember me. If you like the video, please like it. If you like it even more than that, you could favourite it. If you like the video and me, you could also subscribe, which would be absolutely amazing. I am nearly at 200 subscribers. If I can get there, that would actually be pretty awesome. I'm like 190 at the moment, 200 would be absolutely amazing, so please, please consider it, and I shall see you all next time, goodbye.